Hey guys, today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to do Newton's method in Microsoft Excel. So this will help with our calculations, making them faster and also less prone to error because we won't have to do it by hand. So our first step is to open up Microsoft Excel and then we're going to go to create, which is going to create a new spreadsheet. Okay. So I'm just going to write the function that we're going to be working with here. And I'll increase the font so you guys can see it. So our function that we're going to be working with, that we're going to be creating a table to approximate the zero of the function. So it's going to be x. And then our powers we do with the caret, which is found on 6. x cubed minus, minus 1. And I'm also going to write down the Newton's method formula here, just for your reference. So that's going to be x. And then for our subscripts, that is going to be done with an underscore. So parentheses n plus 1 equals x, another underscore, xn, minus, I'm going to do parentheses for the division, f at xn, and division is done with a slash, the derivative of f at xn, and then another parenthesis to close it. Okay, so now that we have our function and our Newton's method formula, we are going to set up our table. So in this first cell, A1, a thing to remember about certain cells in Microsoft is that columns are letters and rows are numbers. So if I refer to cell C6, I'm going to go to column C and then go down till I meet with the row 6. But we're going to start with A1. So we're going to label this cell as N and that's going to be our starting index. We're going to label B1 as X underscore N and this is going to be our X value or our initial root guess. And C we're going to label as f x underscore n. This is our y value of our guess from the function found here, or the x value found here. And then d1 is going to be the derivative of, so it's going to be our slope, our initial guess from which we're going to get from the derivative. E is going to be x underscore parenthesis n plus 1. And that's going to be our new root guess that we're going to calculate from the Newton's method formula. So I'll increase the font here just so you guys can see it. Alright. So we are going to place a 0 under n. And this is going to be our starting index. This is going to allow us to see what iteration number we're going to be on. We're going to place our initial guess of where the root is in the cell under xn. So in order to find an initial root guess, you're just going to approximate where you think the root is. So I'm going to use x0 at 2. And that's just going to be my initial root, and it's going to be a guess. And I am going to, here, this is going to be the y value that's returned from the original function when we plug in our initial guess. So in this cell, we're going to use the Excel formula style to type in what we want here. So in all Excel formulas, you always type in equals. So that'll be our first step. And we're going to type in our function at 
this value. So I'm going to write equals, and in order to use this value, I could either type in e2 as such, so I'm using our function found over here, b2 cubed minus, or I could select the actual cell, and it'll type in b2 for me, b2 minus 1. So that's going to calculate our y value at that x. Then click enter. Now, in D2, we are going to calculate the y value returned from the derivative at our initial guess. So first, we're going to find the derivative of the function ourself. Let me increase this a little bit. So our derivative make this big as well. I was typing in the function. Okay. Our derivative is 3x squared minus 1. Okay. So we're going to use that formula. So always do an equals. We're going to do another formula. We're going to use the derivative that we just found. And then multiplication is done with an asterisk. 3 times. Now I'm just going to select cell B2. That's going to be squared. Minus, or parenthesis first, minus 1. And then click enter. Now we're going to calculate the value returned from Newton's method formula at our particular index by using the values that we calculated from step 3 and 5 of the worksheet. In, cell, in the cell under x underscore n plus 1, we're going to use the values from b2 to d2. So again, to refresh our memory, the value in b2 is our x value initial guess. C2 is the y value of our initial guess from the function, and D2 is the slope at our initial guess from the derivative. We are going to enter an equal sign because it's a new formula, and then we're going to use our Newton's method formula. So we're going to use B2 minus c2 divided by d2. And you could always look at this and match it with the heading to know what values to enter in. And then click enter. Okay, So this is going to be our new guess. Under, on a3, I'm going to enter a2 plus 1. And this is going to add 1 to this. The reason why I'm doing this is that this is going to increment the index for us to 1. And then in cell b3, I'm going to put our new guess, which was the previous value that we calculated here in e2. So I'm going to enter. And I'm just going to click cell E2, click enter. Now, I'm going to select the previous values that we calculated. I'm going to increase the font here. I'm going to select the values calculated. So I'm going to select cell C2, D2, and E2. And you're just going to click it and drag it all the way across. And then place your cursor in the bottom right corner until you see that black cross. And then I'm going to drag it down one row. So hold on and then pull it down one row to extend the formula. So our values should now be calculated based on the formulas we already entered in 
with our updated cell function values. Now I'm going to select all the values from row 3 and that's going to be A3 to E3 which are, are the values that we calculated for iteration 1. Now I'm going to place our cursor again in the corner till that black cross comes up and I'm going to drag it down as many rows or iterations that I want. This is going to extend our formulas and let us iterate with new guesses and values calculated from the formulas we already entered in. And Excel just automatically does this for us. It's pretty cool. Okay. So I iterated 12 times and it already calculated everything for me. So as you can see, this zero lets us know that a solution at root was found because our F of our guess equaled zero. So we always check in column C to see when it zeroes out. All right, so that's how you do Newton's method. And if I was wanting to print this, I could select. So I'm dragging it, holding on, and then I'm going to go to page layout, print area, set print area. And I'm going to save it by going file, save as, and I'm going to name this Newton's method in Microsoft Excel. And I'm going to save it as a workbook. And I'm also going to save it as a PDF because Excel usually prints better as a PDF with our printers here on campus. And that's how you save it, and that's how you set up Newton's method in Microsoft Excel. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me or Sean. I hope you're able to follow along with the worksheet, and if you ever get caught up, that you're able to refer back to this video. Thank you.